In this video, we are going to go uh, to the uh, NVCF website and we're going to go get an API key so that we can use uh, the microservice from Maya. So if you want to connect to, um, to, the, uh, to the proper website, you go to build.nvidia.com slash NVIDIA slash audio to face. And this brings you to this website. So you have a few tabs here. Uh, you can experience uh, audio to face if you want to. You can uh, choose a few uh, audio files and play with it and uh, here. But the goal of this uh, tutorial is not to play it from here, but to play it from Maya. So in this case, what we need to do, we need to go to Try API. And we have a bunch of information here that we will need. <clears throat> Some of that information is already set up in Maya, but I still want to point out to it so that you can... Uh, um, you can go and get it if you need to. So when you connect to a client, we're going to connect to this uh, site here. So that's your PC, NVCF, NVIDIA.com port 4 four four three in Maya. We're actually going to use this uh, this one here, which is the, which which has the uh, HTTPS in front. And then we have two function IDs here, and there's a bunch of numbers, but they're important. So you can copy them and paste them somewhere where you can keep them. So if you want to use the Mark model. That's the function ID. And if you want to use a Claire model, that's the function ID here. So you can keep them and uh, keep them uh, close so that you can go back to them when you need to. But what's important here is when, when we want to try the API is we want to get an API key. <clears throat> and when you're going to click on that, it's going to pop up a menu uh, that will tell you, you know, if you log in with a business email, you get uh, 5,000 credits. And if you log in with a personal email, you get 1,000 credit. And uh, what it means that it is, is in this case here, you're, you're going to have 5,000 calls to the microservice for free. And here you have 1,000 calls uh, for, uh, for the microservice for free. So if you start to use this in production, there are some agreements that you can put in place and purchase credits and all of that so that you can use the microservice in a production. But for trial, this is what you, uh, this is what you get. And you're going to get that window. It, it tells you that you want to generate an API key. I'm going to say generate key. And you've got a key here. And if you don't have any keys generated yet, you it, this is uh, going to be um, empty, but you can copy this key. And what's going to be very important is that you copy the key and you put it somewhere safe, uh, copy and um, that you can go back to a secret place that you're going to keep keep that uh, API key and you can use it um, whenever you need to when you're using the, uh, the either Audio to Face or other microservices if ever you want to try other microservices from, from NVIDIA. So I'm going to close this down. We've got our API key. It's pasted in a secret place and now I can go back to Maya. <clears throat> and I can use that API key here. So you see here, uh, we have a dollar sign and a variable name. Uh, that's the default uh, that you get, but uh, you, that's we're going to take a look at that later. But what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to um, paste in my API key. So I'm going to copy it from my secret place and paste it here. And now my API key is ready to go. So I'm, I'm pretty much ready to try the microservice and see if that's going to work. But right now I don't have any audio inside of this scene, so I need to connect to the to add in an audio. If I go to audio and import audio, this is the audio file that I downloaded from the uh, from the sample scene. So I'm just going to import that one. It's going to paste it here. So I'm going to make sure that I've got enough room to show the entire sound here. So about something like this, 150. So that's going to be <clears throat> 153. That's going to be my timeline. And that's going to be the audio that I'll be using. When you are on the animation player, you see that the audio file here is not set up by default. So we need to provide that audio file. Now that we've imported it in Maya, I can click on that. And that's now the active audio file. When you request, now we're ready to request an animation. Of course, it's depending on the uh, availability of the server, your internet connection. We are going to go on the web and acquire uh, or request an animation so that it get the animation gets downloaded. So that's just make sure that you understand that um, it, it's possible that it takes a few seconds or sometimes the server is too busy, but uh, just make sure that uh, you, you, you are patient enough to get the animation. So in my case, I'm just going to request the animation, took a few seconds, and now I should have an animation ready and I can play it back. With tenure, Susie would have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. With tenure, 
stuff that. Now I know that my API key works, I'm connected to the microservice, and I'm ready to start uh, playing and getting different results from auto to face So the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of these settings here and how to get uh, different types of emotion, uh, improve the lip sync and things like that. So that's going to be the subject of the next video. But before I leave on this one, what I would like to do is to show you how to set your API key as a uh, uh, environment variable so that you don't have to set it every single time uh, here. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to delete this and put that dollar sign and um, I just pasted it here. So I'm going to put, put, put it back in. So NVCF AP underscore API underscore key. Now I need to go into the micro, the, um, the Windows settings and look for environment variable. So edit environment variable for your account. Then you can create uh, a new API, a, a new variable name. That's going to be the same name without the dollar sign. And you are going to paste in this value here, the, the value that you had for your API key. Just paste that here and say OK. And once you've got that ready, you need to uh, click OK and log out and log back in for the environment variable to be uh, effective. But once this is done, you'll be able to use the microservice. So in my case, the, uh, the the environment variable was already set up. So if I leave it there and I request, uh, let's say I change the, uh, the amazement animation to the maximum and exaggerate the emotion strength here. So I'll just request another animation. So they'll be a bit more amazed. Busy to have all the more leisure for yachting, but her publications are no good. So that's pretty much the workflow to get the API key to make sure that it works. And in the next video, we're going to look at all these settings and how you can make adjustments to the animation as you request them from the microservice.